but I know that there are a lot of buildings on Fifth Avenue right across from Central Park. Now, maybe that's, you know, on purpose that don't allow dogs. They may allow cats. Same thing in the Sutton area. Very, very tranquil, pretty area. I know some of the buildings are started to turn around because, look, if you want to compete in this real estate market, you really have to change your antiquated rules. In 2020, I was selling a unit on the Upper East Side and that building for as long as it's been around, it's a pre-war co-op, has had no pets. And I got there, I had been selling it before the pandemic, we took it off, right? And then when we put it back on, I get to the lobby, I know it's a no pets building, and I see three dogs coming out. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, what's going on? They took over. (laughs) Yeah, what's going on here? And so the board had decided to allow people to get pets during the pandemic, and they changed their rules. You know, my owner was really happy, and it, it really opened up who we could sell the apartment to. 